Okay, here's some more of this now. Moving on to the second zone now. That's what they call them instead of levels. And I'm just gonna skip the little mission brief area. If you want to read it, you can just pause the video. The point is, our two objectives here are to A, trap four sheep in a pen, and B, find a animal with wheels. As you can see, here are two sheep right here, and this is the pen, and this is what locks them in. And as you can see here, here I am murdering the sheep. Now, even though I do like killing sheep in this game, I'll admit that right now, there is a practical purpose for this. See, basically I have to play sheepdog in this little level, and put all the sheep over here, open the gate, and then force them in. But while you're doing that, more sheep could get out. And it could also be kind of annoying to get the sheep into the pen before more sheep get out. So that's why I'm killing them. To prevent any escape attempts. Because honestly, I don't think those sheep are going anywhere now. Anyway, here's the third sheep. Stick it right in there with the others. And kill it just like the others. Okay, that's three sheep. Now, the last sheep is over by this bridge area. Now, as you can see, he's sitting on that little grassy knoll right there, but as soon as he comes up, he's going to turn to the left and make a run for it. Fortunately for him, he's not smart enough to stay on that ledge because the dog cannot jump that high. Instead, he'll jump in the water and then you can just simply just chase him right into the pen. Solving that problem quickly and efficiently. So once it's in, all I have to do is hit the gate switch and done. Sheep are secured. And really just for the heck of it, I'm just killing the sheep too. No more practical purpose, it's just because I like killing sheep. Moving on. The second objective is across this river on the other side. See that little yellow dot? That's a dog. Just like I'm playing as right now. And seeing that little shed over there, that's the animal we need. But once you become that animal, that dog is going to become your enemy and try to kill you. So, the only clear solution to this is to kill him. Now he won't attack you immediately. He takes a few bites to realize that you are in fact trying to kill him, and then he'll try fighting back. But as you die quickly enough. Afterwards, you have to go over here into the shed and claim your prize. It's the mouse. Or, to be precise, the racing mouse. Skills are to speed boost and tail attack, where basically just jabs things with its tail. But what I also want to point out here is uh, water, distant, water resistance low. What does that mean? Well, that means this. That means if you throw yourself into the water, you're going to take damage until you get out of the water. Which, I guess makes sense. I mean, you ever try dropping a mouse into the water and like seeing how well it swims? No, seriously, have you? I'm kind of curious. I mean, you're kind of sick if you try that, but I'm just saying. Anyway, for this level's trophy, you basically have to come over to this little uh, checkered flag thing and stand on it. Afterwards, your opponent will come out and, yes, you will race. Fitting, you're the racing mouse after all. And your opponent is a racing dog, an animal that you will encounter later. Like the mouse, it also has a speed boost ability. The other ability is to shoot missiles, but it, it's not going to do that right now. After all, this is an honorable race, and, you know, shooting missiles really isn't fair. So what I want to do here is kind of conserve your speed boost to spend it all at once. Especially to make that jump right there at the end. Because if you miss that, you're pretty much screwed. You're going to land in the water, which will not only hurt you, but also slow you down. And chances are, you won't be able to catch back up. But there's only two laps, so it's pretty simple overall. And as the dog slinks away in defeat, you get your trophy. Trophy's depicting the racing mouse. Fitting reward, I think. And afterwards, you're free to exit the level. Teleport is over there. So all you gotta do is boost up this ramp right here and jump. And level complete.
So, next time in Silicon Valley, it will be the third level, Honeymoon Lagoon.